Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Nigeria once again, and this is going to be another wrestling match review. So, it's kind of rare in pro wrestling for or certain matches to have very long builds. Normally, especially when it comes to WrestleMania matches, a lot of WrestleMania matches usually aren't built. Um, they're built significantly enough. Sometimes they're slow burns. Uh, but usually, like, the main crux of it is built, built uh, within uh, months or so of Mania. But what if I told you that this match had had one year of build in the making for it. It uh, a match with a lot of build, build, but did it live up to the hype? Let's find out. I'm of course talking about how John Cena versus The Rock at WrestleMania 28, aka Once in a Lifetime. <laughs> we'll see about that. But and, uh, as always, I'm not professional, not professional uh, wrestling viewer analyst or anything like that. Just man, enjoy a good time. And I had a pretty okay time. Uh, with this match, uh, I would say. Hey, uh, well, further ado, let's get right into it. And, and a couple things. Uh, first stars, obviously, if you've seen these videos before, you kind of know how this works. But if you haven't, I'm going to be talking about what I liked and disliked about the match. But the other thing is that uh, had, uh, if you can't tell by me reviewing uh, their encounter at WrestleMania 28 or by my uh, <clears throat> or by my devious laugh that I just, just uh, let out my uh, maniacal laugh. Hopefully it wasn't too cringe inducing. But if you can't, but if you couldn't tell by my maniacal laugh, uh, uh, Friday we're gonna be reviewing their encounter at WrestleMania 29, which I heard was not as good as this match. So we will uh, take a look at that. But uh, as for this match, like I mentioned, a year in the bit, Hill, a year in the making. And, uh, so stemming essentially from WrestleMania 27, when The Rock was the special guest uh, host for WrestleMania 27, and uh, and and, and uh, essentially cost John Cena the WWE Championship in the main event of WrestleMania 27 against The Miz. Is uh, but. Like from there, things pretty much went to full circle with John Cena and The Rock essentially feuding for about a year, the better part of a year, including them being tag team partners at Survivor Series. He's and um, he's and all leading to this match here, and and these two definitely went at it when it comes to their promos. Uh, some on script, some off script, if, and and not all of it aged well. Some, oh, some of it, especially John Cena talking about that whole, you know. Hollywood thing, uh, and, uh, kind of aged like Hulk, uh, you know, John Cena calling The Rock a hypocrite, uh, for, <clears throat> for, like, abandoning wrestling, and, or, not, not calling him a hypocrite, but, uh, calling him, you know, bad and everything for, uh, abandoning wrestling for Hollywood. <coughs> Peacemaker! Whew, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, but, uh, not all of it aged well, but still them going at it for the better part of a year, building towards the story, yeah, but, how did it pay off, and why exactly he did the once in a lifetime stipulation mean essentially nothing? We'll find out more about that. But but now the builds out of the way. Hey, let's see how the match delivered. And uh, and uh, this is coming after. This is the main event, of course, of WrestleMania 28, and coming off that amazing Hell in a Cell match uh, at Shamar Taker Triple H. So uh, good luck, guys. But but um. Yes, but I think for the most part, or they were able to put on a decent enough match. Uh, at, uh, they managed to go the 30 minutes, and thankfully there wasn't too much. There was some moments where if things were low, he'll kind of you know to give the crowd out and the wrestlers a chance to catch their breath. But otherwise, he's uh, he's definitely a solid effort from uh, both guys, and uh, he's and uh, the crowd definitely were into it. It uh, it uh, thankfully they weren't totally. Uh, gassed out by uh, by what happened with Undertaker and Triple H, H uh, H N. People were still into this match, uh, especially on the side of The Rock. Uh, 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 this is The Rock's first WrestleMania match since WrestleMania 20, when he teamed with Mick Foley against uh, Randy Orton and Batista of Evolution. Uh, and uh, but uh, yeah, so oh, and honestly, he, uh, this isn't really related to the match. It's not going to count the score, but they probably should have saved The Rock's return, uh, at least in ring like wrestling return. For WrestleMania, like like them doing a Survivor Series, I get it. They want to do the whole you know unlikely Parker, uh, unlikely partners routine that they just love to do with future opponents. But 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 uh, I wish they would have saved it 
for uh, uh, WrestleMania. Like, hey, save The Rock getting back in the ring and to wrestle at least for the face for uh, WrestleMania. I think it would have made it even more special. And yes, like the match was announced ahead of time that they would be facing at WrestleMania 28, uh, which begat the year long build. But, but uh, yeah, I think both guys did pretty decently uh, showcasing uh, showcasing what makes Ace uh, both men both men essentially yeah the crowd definitely into it definitely on the side of the rock the people were definitely into the rock which the rock uh, uh, had the home field advantage because of course wrestlemania 28 uh, was taking place in uh, miami he uh he uh, which of course is where the rock is from um so cena um he had his supporters he had his cheers but he he also did uh the crowd didn't really like him as much not just because he's super senior but because you know he's in rock territory it wasn't as bad as say money in the bank 20 11 or or uh, one night stand 2006 both of which i reviewed i reviewed john Cena for cm punk and money in the bank 2011 and uh and then uh, also uh uh ecw one night stand 2006 maybe i'm ready to go check out those reviews but but um but yeah yeah so oh uh, cena not quite getting as well reception but uh trying not to let that shake him and kind of leaning into it and man john cena he's absorbed a lot of booze uh throughout the years absorbed a lot of hatred and kept going kept the kept the smile on his face he's definitely a trooper for sure or definitely the goat for sure but yeah so oh, both men able to put on a pretty decent match pretty decent encounter here not necessarily what you would consider a technical masterpiece uh but uh, uh, but I think they did a pretty decent job, uh, including in, uh, John hitting in a uh, diving famous off the top rope, and The Rock even hitting a huge cross body off the top rope. Oops, not bad. So pulling out, maybe not all the stops, but some of the stops. Ups, and then uh, and ultimately John Cena losing based off his own hubris. Of course, John Cena taking off the armband, throwing into the crowd to mimic The Rock's people's elbow, and then he walked right into The Rock bottom, uh, um, and then that's what ended the match so having that had uh having that be the ending of the match john cena essentially a victim of his own like i said his own uh, hubris or arrogance at least for the moment uh and uh, i think having that be what cost him i think he uh, was a very he's smart and interesting move even john cena of course sitting on the ramp looking very sad and that's the image they would continue to use pretty much until the build until WrestleMania 29. That's right. They lied to you. It was never once in a lifetime. I'm so the plan was essentially a, a three WrestleMania. It's essentially a trilogy of WrestleManias involving John Cena versus The Rock. Uh, Mania 27, Mania 28, and Mania 29. And, uh, 27 more of like the prologue, that being The Rock costing Cena, uh, uh, but and then Mania 28 being the first encounter between the two, and then uh, John Cena getting his win back by WrestleMania 29. So obviously we'll review that on Friday, but but um. But yeah, as for this encounter, we'll, we'll obviously, you know, get to that encounter at WrestleMania 29. But as for this encounter, I think, I think they did a, a pretty decent, uh, okay job with it. It, uh, it, uh, Cena getting to show a lot of his strength. The Rock getting to show a lot of his showmanship. The Rock's still able to go and keep pace with John Cena, uh, showing that he does indeed still have it in the ring. And, and, and thankfully, with The Rock being an actor and everything, still being able to retain decent shape, uh, you know, for the movie and stuff like that so that is nice and to help it carry over to his uh at least his wrestlemania in-ring return again i feel like they should have saved his in-ring return like at all for this uh mania uh uh but yeah so able to keep up for the most part with john cena and and uh the crowd oh definitely were into it so oh able to put on a solid showing here here, uh, or was it hit amazing? Was it like, did it match up to the build? Not necessarily. And you kind of figured it wouldn't. Like, very rarely, and I've mentioned this before on the channel, very rarely do matches ever live exactly up to the build. Like, sometimes the build is so immense that the match will fall short. And this one, thankfully, didn't fall short too, too much. Like, like there are matches that fall short or to their build way too much. And then there's matches with so much uh, lack of build that they uh, succeed just by having the men lock up. But uh, this one definitely had a lot of hype going into it. And did it live up to the hype? I'd say 
kinda. Like, like what's the five-star classic? I wouldn't necessarily say so, but it was a pretty solid match in that regard. Nothing too amazing, and uh, nothing super duper spectacular. But or but but uh, but they they did what they needed to do, and they put on a solid enough match. I would say. Uh, hey, uh, and and even and kind of the commentary kind of got, uh for the most part, kind of gut hushing to an extent about, about uh, The Rock and, you know, John Cena and everything uh, within this match, trying to uh, put those two over. But uh, uh, in terms of what I didn't quite like as much about of this match, like I said, it was solid, but nothing really amazing. And, uh, and I guess, like I said, I can't really fault it for that. But, uh, but, but, um, but, but, uh, uh, just pretty, pretty decent, but uh, nothing too spectacular or, uh, or, or amazing. And, and, uh, and of course, there's John Cena, uh, having The Rock pass out in the STF. Uh, have, uh, John Cena's STF has legendarily been, uh, and not great. Uh, so, ha so it almost kind of looked like The Rock was falling asleep. He, he's just kind of, he's supposed to be like passing out, but just kind of, you know, fell asleep, uh, while in the hold, hold up. Well, uh, that's more on how the STF was delivered, but uh, you had to make it work. But otherwise, yeah, pretty, pretty, very uh, decent match, I should say. So, how will their encounter WrestleMania 29 hold up? We will find out. But nevertheless, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you, so you know every time I upload a video, so you see soon it drops. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the match, my review of the match. Did you like, like the match? Did you like, like my review of the match? Let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.